Hi, I'm Pepe. Katsushika Hokusai's 36 views of Mount Fuji. Foreigners interested in Japan must have seen these Japanese landscape paintings from the Edo period at least once. These are some of the 30,000 works said to have been left by Katsushika Hokusai. Hokusai made his works for about 70 years and left an influence on the art of Japan and the world. You can learn more about his life and work at the Sumida Hokusai Museum. You can also buy Hokusai's ukiyo-e as a souvenir of Japan. The museum is located in Ryogoku, a place closely associated with Hokusai, where he lived for 90 years. The unique architecture of this museum is also a highlight, so let's go see it for ourselves. The Sumida Hokusai Museum is divided into two sections, a permanent exhibition of Hokusai's works and a seasonal exhibition. Brochures are also available in various languages. The museum is a 10 minutes walk from Ryogoku Station. The openness of the building with its multiple entrances, combined with walls that softly absorb the surrounding landscape, fits well with the environment. This is a map of the Ryogoku area in the Edo period. The museum was built on the site of the residence of a feudal lord from the northeast of Japan. Hokusai's entire life was spent with the confines of this map. It is said that Hokusai moved 93 times in his life, sometimes three times a day. All of them were completed within this area. He is said to have taken his name from Katsushikagun Musashino province, which was the name of the area at the time. Hokusai who loved this area so much, painted a lot of local scenery, and he also left a lot of works on the Sumida River, which runs nearby. Now, let's go inside the museum. After check-in, get your ticket and take the elevator up to the fourth floor. On your right is a special exhibition area and on your left is a permanent exhibition area. The permanent exhibition is not a large space but it is designed to display the different styles and subjects of Hokusai's work as an ukiyo-e artist. The layout of the permanent exhibition allows visitors to view replicas of Hokusai's works up close in chronological order. Hokusai was born in Ryogoku in 1760, and his real name was Kawamura Tetsuzo, and he became interested in paintings around the age of 6. At the age of 18, he joined a group called the Katsugawa School, and made his debut as a ukiyo-e artist under the name of Katsugawa Haruo. 
He was a unique artist, changing his name over 30 times. After finishing his apprenticeship, at the age of 34, he joined the Limpa school of Tawaraya Sotats, famous for his Wind and Thunder Gods paintings, and took the name Hokusai Sori. At this time, he produced many brush strokes called Surimono and illustrations for Kyoka picture books. Around the age of 45, he started to identify himself as Katsushika Hokusai, a name that has become synonymous with his work. At this point, he became a very popular illustrator, mainly working on illustrations of picture books for the public. He had more than 50 apprentices, and the number of people who wanted to learn Hokusai's techniques increased throughout Japan. As a result, he left behind many instructional books, where students could learn the basic of sketching and design. Surprisingly, such humorous and cute sketch are from the Edo era. It is said that such skillful depiction is the basis of today's Japanese manga and anime. At the age of 63, when he was in his prime of maturity as a painter, he finally started working on his masterpiece, The 36 Views of Mount Fuji. This work is a large Nishikiya landscape with Mount Fuji as a theme, consisting of 36 main panels and 10 additional panels due to popular demand. Nishikie is a technique of woodblock printing, in which multiple color prints are applied in layers. You can learn about the process of making Nishikie by watching a video, so those who are interested in this technique are encouraged to watch. Kanagawa Okinamiura is probably the most representative ukiyo-e. It was used for the design of the Japanese passport in 2020, and it is still a very popular work of art. The World Exposition in Paris in 1867 triggered a boom in ukiyo-e and the rise of Japanese in the Western world. His bold compositions and bright colors were unknown in European painting. The personal life of this historically famous artist seems to have been unique. He was only interested in paintings and did not drink or smoke. He was also indifferent to money, and despite being such a successful artist, he was always poor, and his house was in a state of disrepair. In addition to the exhibition, there are many attractions to keep even the kids entertained, such as searching Mount Fuji in his works and making your original kisel. Before you leave, why not look for ukiyo-e goods in the souvenir space? Here are two of my recommendations. The first is an origami set that allows you to make origami cranes with all 46 patterns from the 36 views of Mount Fuji. This set includes origami cranes and ukiyo-e, both a popular part of Japanese culture and will make a great souvenir gift.
a guide is provided to help you make the origami cranes. The second is a fold-up block puzzle. Six simple cubes can be assembled and lined up to create a famous ukiyo-e print. When rearranged, you can enjoy six different works of art and decorate your home in a Japanese way. A movie about Hokusai's life is also being made, which is scheduled to be released in 2021. Why not enjoy the world of Katsushika Hokusai, an ukiyo-e artist who is popular even today?